when we are TIG welding stainless steel. We need to make sure that we cover the welding area adequately for at least a couple seconds after our workpiece has finished glowing red hot. When your stainless steel TIG welding passes are glowing red hot, this is a state where they are susceptible to forming severe oxide immediately. If it is exposed to our atmosphere, the air that we breathe, it gets oxidized immediately. There's no way around it. Ensure that you have the timer on your machine set for at least a couple seconds extra from what you actually need. Maintain a proper standoff distance or arc length or whatever, and ensure that your torch does not move until you have finished your post flow cycle. Anytime you see excessive heat affected zone or especially any oxide forming at all, you have to set this timer for a longer duration or increase your gas level through your regulator. Take some time to do some practice runs. When you're just trying to ballpark where to set your timer with stainless steel. I usually have it set anywhere from six to eight seconds. Usually around six seconds is good for aluminum. Always have it set for a little bit longer than you think you need. Better to be safe than sorry.